This review was made possible by the Yojo Outlet Center, specializing in vintage G.I. Joe toys and parts. Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review, and today I'll be taking a look at the G.I. Joe's Battlefield Recovery Vehicle, a 1987 Road Toad. Now, the Road Toad doesn't make any cartoon or comic book appearances, unfortunately, and it is basically just a trailer. Well, is it though? Is it really? Yeah, it kind of is. The Road Toad has some really interesting features. Besides the rolling rear wheel, which all trailers should have, it has a front wheels as well, which is kind of unusual because you would think that something that would uh, have to plant down and be secured, you wouldn't think that this front part would be wheels. On top of that, the wheels turn. And when in the actual trailer mode hooked up to a vehicle, you can swing them forward so that they're up and out of the way. Even though they're not really out of not really in the way when this thing uh, even is down. But that's an option that you have. Of course, we also have a hook attached to some string. Now this is another interesting thing because uh, a lot of people don't actually set this thing up properly and I can totally understand why. Even in the 3D Joe's uh, turnaround, this thing isn't set up properly. The string is supposed to go around this spindle and of course it's a thumb wheel on top of that so you retract it like this. And it's actually supposed to be threaded through this part here. Most people don't do that because it's really difficult to thread that thing through. You're supposed to thread it through back here. And my adult hands can't get in there properly. And I'm pretty sure even kids' hands couldn't have gotten in there properly. So how exactly are you supposed to do that without having um, a special hook tool? I actually used a, a fishing hook in order to do this. So... That's something that, uh, I mean, quite frankly, if it's out here and just uh, sort of out by the side, sure, it's it's not uh, it's not symmetrical. It's not like um, in the middle where a hook and line should be in the middle of your your trailer. But this this sort of um, I guess this little hole thing, it's not exactly centered either. So I'm not quite I'm not quite sure why Hasbro designed it that way. One unfortunate problem is is that the string that comes with this, and I think this is the um, the proper length for the toy. It's not really all that long. It doesn't go very much past the trailer's lip itself. It should go quite a bit uh, longer, I think, in order for you to hook this up to the back axle of any um, vehicle you want to tow. And just sort of bring it in and use the thumb wheel to tow that in. Here I'll just use a 1985 striker and hook it up to the little exhaust pipe because you can't really hook it up underneath the axle actually on this toy but this is a fairly good example of how this would work. It's sort of help it along and then it, the rear wheels of any vehicle that you have will mostly fit into these, I guess, inverted fender groove. It has a removable engine cover to show engine detail on the inside. One odd thing is that on the ramp part, there's actually um, three foot pegs for figures. I'm not quite sure why you would have um, uh, figures standing on so close to the back edge of this thing. On the other side, we have something of a makeshift seat and a control panel. You just sort of sit the figure in and that's how the figure sits, just with the legs hanging out unfortunately, kind of Flintstone style, to sort of tuck them up there. And not only does the figure man the winch controls, but also the cannon as well. And that's the other thing about the 
a better fuel recovery vehicle is not only can you use it as well just a plain trailer you can use it as a gun emplacement so this gun can swivel around 360 degrees it has a great range of uh, elevation and depression as well and on top of that it also has two of these really small rockets The Rotoad BRV is not a very popular accessory on the aftermarket. As a matter of fact, you ought to be able to find one complete with all of its parts and in relatively mint condition for very little. I can, I can totally understand people not really liking this thing because it is, at its heart, a trailer. That's all it is. Sure, it has a cannon and little missiles on it, but you're not fooling anybody. This thing is meant to be hooked on to something else and that's all it really should be doing. Now, I understand that this is a world building item, kind of like the 1985 uh, weapon transport. It's something that should exist in the G.I. Joe universe. It has to. But does it make for a very good toy in an action-oriented military line? Well, I guess you would have to be the uh, ultimate authority on that, on whether you want this to be part of your collection or not. Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.